in Jamaica, Energy Minister Philip Paulwell has ordered 17 gas stations closed following complaints by several motorists about their vehicles being severely damaged after buying fuel from specific service station. The decision was made after a test of samples of E1090 and E1087 petrol from gas stations across the island between December 22 and 24 by the Bureau of Standards Jamaica BSJ uncovered a contaminant known as gum. The energy minister says the legislative changes will be implemented shortly to address the shortcomings in the local petroleum industry. There will be some substantial changes in the legislation and the good thing is that we had started this process some nine months ago. In fact, Cabinet had approved draft instructions for the law to be modified. And what we are doing now is to complete that process, but to add some new features as we realize that there were certain gaps. So we are increasing the applicability of the Act to all the nine now known stakeholders outline the changes to be introduced to improve and to monitor and accountability of the Jamaican petroleum sector. The monitoring and auditing of the trade will have to be institu institutionalized. This will require that the chain of custody of the product must be verifiable as determined by tracking devices and appropriate record keeping and will involve all players importers, marketing companies, haulage contractors, tanker drivers, and operators of petrol stations. We're going to have mandatory inspection of service station at the time of issue of license and at intervals thereafter. And we're also going to require marketing companies to submit report on movement of each tanker truck that is utilized to haul petroleum products. Minister explains why he hasn't given in to calls for the service stations responsible for distributing the contaminated gasoline to be publicized. I, as Minister, I don't wish to know whose stations have been tested and where there have been found to be contamination um, because we want to make sure that it is done in a transparent way but also that we safeguard the interests of persons who are involved, especially because we are not able at this stage to determine who is at fault.